every kid's dream, really, let's face it. It was bought new by a doctor. The car was in pristine condition when I got it. There was not even a door ding anywhere in it. It did have the wrong colors on it, but the numbers all checked back with the factory order that it was a speedster. The doctor that bought this car new only opted for one thing on the option list, and that was a Kleenex dispenser, $2.65. My last job was at the Studebaker Proving Ground. I was a test driver mechanic, probably one of the last, still living, maybe the last living, I don't know. But I was a young guy, the youngest guy at the, plant, at the proving ground at that time. It still drives like a 55. They talk about today's cars, but I tell you, they drive beautifully compared to this car, but this car was a nice car at that time. We did any kind of a test that they needed done. It could be on the speedway, which was the equivalent to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, two and a half miles, mile straight away, quarter mile turns. It sold for $32.53 which was between five and $800 more than a Corvette in 1955. That's why they, the sales were down. People opted to buy the Corvette. I would have loved to have had one as a kid. Too bad we get old too soon and smart too late.